Next one is an inscribed angle. Okay, so inscribed angle. That means the vertex is located on the circle. All right, so here's my angle right here, ABC. The vertex is located actually physically on the edge of the circle. All right, that's what I tell here. I'm not going to draw the alligator teeth every time, all right, but this would be the intercepted arc for that angle. All right, so the intercepted arc would be AC. Now, this has a different rule. It says the angle measurements are equal to half the intercepted arc. All right, so this time it's half the intercepted arc. And right away, you can see that if you did the central angle video and looked at it, it says they're equal to the arc. This is now half of the arc. All right, so we're, for right now, we're just trying to identify types of angles and arcs, and the next file will deal with formulas. So that's when we're going to hit that. I'm going to scroll down here. Because this looks different, but it's not different. So this says angle with a vertex on the circle. This doesn't have a name like in track angle or anything, but this fits the thing right above it. So angle with a vertex on the circle. All right. So they're similar to inscribed angles, but they're formed with a tangent and a chord. Okay. That's not relevant. Their vertex is on the circle. All right. So I've got two of them here. I've got this one. There's the vertex. And then I've got this one. There's the vertex. So the vertex is on the circle. And the good news is their measurement is equal to half the arc, just like it was before. So if I take this red angle, the intercepted arc is BA. Okay, and I could write BDA. If I take the blue one, the intercepted arc is, again, BA. But this time it's more than half the circle, so I'd have to write B. CA, remember that's a major arc, and it was a minor arc. Um, and they'd be half of those arcs. So it, it, while it doesn't, clear my words out here, while it doesn't look exactly the same, all right, because this obviously the picture doesn't look completely the same, um, the intercepted arc concept is the same. So it's the piece of the circle that's inside of that angle. So it's the yellow one for the right angle, and it's the green one for the blue angle. All right. now, there's other things that you may be noticing from that in terms of their measurements, which we'll deal with in future things, but that's what we're looking at for right now, just trying to identify these things.